In 1924, a young woman in Great Britain named Nellie Kershaw became ill after working for over 20 years at the Turner Brothers asbestos factory. Her illness progressed to the point where she was unable to work anymore and unable to eat. She takes up a case with the Turner Brothers, hoping for some form of compensation while she is unable to work. Nellie Kershaw dies shortly thereafter, with the dubious distinction of being the first person to make a claim for compensation as a result of asbestos poisoning. Instead of compensating Nellie and making her final days easier, Turner Brothers urges its insurance carriers to fight Nellie's claim to the death. Turner Brothers tries to blame her death on another disease called tuberculosis. This represents the first documented effort by an asbestos manufacturer to deny compensation for an asbestos-related illness by blaming it on some other disease. The coroner, however, holds a full inquest with the jury to determine the cause of death. The jury disagrees with Turner Brothers and finds that Nellie's death was caused by asbestos. This is now the first case in history where a jury rejects an asbestos company's position, deciding that the underlying claim has merit. Unfortunately, this same series of events will often be repeated throughout the history of asbestos litigation. News of the death of Nellie Kershaw travels fast in the asbestos industry, and not before too long, Turner Brothers is corresponding with the other asbestos giant in the United States, Johns Manville, about the problem of workers dying from asbestos.